Hello, let's get started. I'm Dr. Nolan, I'm gonna be your psychiatrist for your stay here. So, can you tell me your name? Esther Greenwood. So Esther, I just wanna start by asking about you. What did you do before all of this? Did you have a job? What are you sweating over that for? You know the boss won't care that it's in tomorrow or Monday. Let's go to those parties that all those girls are going to. We can go till we get sick of it and then we can just go out on the town or something. These parties remind me of the old dances that we used to have in the gym. I don't know, Doreen. I mean, I know it's New York, but we're working for a very prestigious magazine company. I don't think we should spend all of our time partying. Fine. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go catch a cab. I was an intern for a women's magazine in New York. Oh, did you enjoy that? I don't know. I felt like I should have been having the time of my life, but I wasn't. Did you have any friends during this internship? Her name was Doreen. She met this guy at a party one night, and she forgot about me. There's something demoralizing about watching two people get more and more crazy about each other, especially when you're the only extra person in the room. Did you ever have a boyfriend yourself? Turn to page 11. I figured there must be something about poetry if a girl like you spends all her days on it. So I decided to write one of my own. See? Not bad. So I thought about asking you something. I was gonna do it by letter, but I decided to do it in person. Well, don't you wanna know what it is? What? How would you like to be Mrs. Buddy Good? I have to tell you something, buddy. I'm never going to get married. <laughs> You're crazy. You'll change your mind. No, my mind's made up. No, I didn't. That's too bad. You're a very pretty girl. Now, to the more serious questions. Was there a point in time when you realized that you were different from your peers in New York? Come on, Esther, you need a smile. These are going on the front page. Here, what's your dream? What do you plan on doing with your life? I don't know. Sure you do. All the other girls knew. A poet. Perfect. Now show how happy it makes you when you write a poem. Now smile. Esther, you look like you're about to cry. <laughs> Esther, what's wrong? So, no? Okay, well, since you weren't sure, can you explain to me how things were when you got back home? Or what events you remember leading up to your suicide attempt? I was denied from the summer writing course I applied to. I didn't have anything to look forward to. I couldn't eat or sleep. I hadn't washed my hair in three weeks. I kept asking for stronger sleeping pills until I kept the maximum, but they still did nothing. Now Esther, I need you to be honest. Was the time when your mom found you in the basement with all the sleeping pills in your system your only suicide attempt, or had you previously attempted?
Yes, that was my only attempt. Well, Esther, are you ready for your shock treatment? <laughs>